Uh, first up now, let's speak to the chair of the Palestine Solidarity Campaign. That's Professor Kamal Hawash, who joins me down the line. Uh, good afternoon to you, sir. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, can I just ask you, first of all, for your reaction to the protests here in the UK? Um, because you are, you know, a, a, an organisation representing people here wanting to work together for peace and security uh, uh, for uh, the Palestinian people. Um, what is your reaction to some of these protests where there's been expressions of joy, whooping, cheering on what had happened on Saturday? Um, and and the and not don't know necessarily linked the the attack on, for instance, a kosher restaurant in North London and the fears that many in the Jewish community are now feeling. Your reaction to all of that, sir? Well, first of all, I, like everyone else, was very surprised. Uh, I was woken up uh, about the news on uh, on the 7th. And uh, uh, whether it was the 4th, 5th, 6th or 7th of October, I am somebody who doesn't want to see anyone die in this conflict. I myself am a, a Palestinian or Palestinian origin. Both of my parents uh, were born in Jerusalem. Um, my father passed away here in Britain, and I couldn't take him to bury him in Jerusalem. But Robert Maxwell... Uh, the, 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 the guy okay, let's, whose record was awful. Let's, let's was bring it up. Let me bring, let me bring uh, you back let, to let my question. Finish. No, 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 don't interrupt me. I'll, I'll just make that, that, that point. My mother still lives with me here in, in Birmingham, where I am, uh, but she can't go and live in Jerusalem, her home city, whereas a Jewish lady from, uh, from Birmingham can get on a flight and, and get citizenship uh, and so on. So that is important context to, to uh, uh, where we are. In other words, you can set the clock to start on the 7th of October, or you can say, why, uh, why is it that we haven't found a solution yet to the problem that will mean that we're not back here in two years' time talking again uh, about this? Uh, I'm a, a British person. A Jewish people uh, who, have carry, uh, who, are, who are British are also British. I've written uh, a number of articles. One of them said, I want anti-Semitism eradicated from the UK, but sanctions on Israel for what it does to the Palestinian people. Now, you might say, what is the linkage? I don't make the linkage. It is uh, uh, the, 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 the pro-Israelis who have tried to make a link between the fact that Israel uh, uh, calls itself the Jewish state and at the same time uh, carries out atrocities uh, against the Palestinian people. Okay. Of course, should the, 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 the Jewish community here, and I will stand with, our, you know, like everyone else, uh, 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 in making sure that they are safe, they should not be sub uh, subjected to any... Uh, uh, attacks or, or be fearful of uh, other people, of course. Uh, but again, even the Palestinian community, uh, I'm beginning to get phone calls from people saying they're a bit worried. Uh, okay. And they're worried about, you know, what about protesting? Will, will we be safe or will there be people who will attack us? So it is unfortunate that, that what is happening in in Palestine, Israel, does come into uh, into UK in this way. And I have to say that the government side here siding with Israel all the time is something that uh, the, the people who support the Palestinians say. Why is it siding? Why are they with, okay? Why is Britain siding occupies? with Israel? I would have I would have thought, Kamel, that they, that Britain is siding with a, an ally, the only democratic. Yeah nation-state yeah. in the Middle East and a nation yeah. that has just come under horrific terrorist attack. And we side with our allies when they are victims of a, the massacre of civilians. That would you, be you, the norm, would it not? Not, not at all. No. Why, why is it always different exactly. for Israel? Take Ukraine and Russia. Mm -hmm. Who do we side with? With the occupied people, with the people that have been attacked. The people who've been invaded. And, uh, let me finish. Please don't interrupt me. Uh, and, and don't forget, how, how long has the occupation of uh, parts of the Ukraine uh, be, uh, been on? 20 months. Israel has been occupying the West Bank, Gaza and East Jerusalem for, for 50 years. Yeah? So why stand with the occupied people in the Ukraine? But when it comes to the Palestinians... We say no. We stand with the occupier. Okay. Look, there is no doubt at all. We, about, no, about, there is no doubt at all. We've got disputed territory. Exactly. This is a, not, no, I think not, this is no, irrelevant. No, dispute, no, no, no. It's not disputed territory. It's illegally occupied. Even the UK says that uh, uh, there are occupied territories and that the settlements there are illegal. So the, the UK talks one thing, but then acts in a different okay. way. Kamal, can I bring you back to what's actually happened? Now, we can all say we want things to be different in the Middle East. We like a, I think but we most do. people, that's not actually, all, that's, will that want is to, the will most want to, important thing. OK, people of, on all sides. And those people in Britain who perhaps say, well, I don't, I don't have a dog in this fight. I, they just want this all to go away and people to live in peace so it doesn't impact 
on, on, in, on, on civilians and on innocent people, men, women and children, as this has done, and will do on, on both sides. But I think what a lot of us here in the UK find difficult is that it is so easy and simple to condemn a massacre of innocent men, women and children at a, at a youth festival, the taking of hostages of, of, of grandmothers and of toddlers. That is, that's a no-brainer for most people. Why is it when so often when we ask someone representing the Palestinian cause that it isn't so why is it so why isn't it easy for you to say this was appalling this was a war crime this was a terrible terrible deed it shouldn't have happened because the same people the same people when when the the, the situation is reversed in 2014 where where thousands of Palestinians were killed in Gaza families were wiped out 15 17 people in one family the condemnations didn't come from these same people what they seem to think is that because you 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 stated you thought you said oh Israel is our ally fine I have no problem that you know countries choose who their allies are but in this case uh, the, the, the the UK is continuing to support not only an, an illegal occupier of another people and unless you accept that quite genuinely you 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 will find that uh, thinking about how we can get out of this and not meet again in two years time will be quite difficult okay. also prior prior to the 7th of September four human rights organizations have painstakingly investigated what Israel does to the Palestinians and came to the conclusion that what it does it, it meets the definition of the Rome Statute, not South Africa, the Rome Statute of Apartheid, but the UK says, oh, we don't accept that. Well, the evidence is there, and we should be people in the West where we can listen to the evidence and where okay. it is overwhelming, okay. actually even understand if, that say, Even if all of that were accepted, ally. Kamal, Sorry, even, if, yeah. even if all of that were yeah. accepted, uh, uh, I want to ask you a simple please. question. Please. It's, no, no, Kamal, wait Kamal, no, no. It's, if, 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 if uh, there's an accusation of apartheid. The least you do is investigate and say, we don't want an ally who would, which is an apartheid state. OK. It's a yes or no question. Was the attack on civilians, 900 dead, some of those, of course, um, defence forces in Israel, was the attack on, on Saturday on southern Israel, was it justified because of the plight of the Gaz of the people of Gaza? Yes or no? I think, I think you yes might have no. say at the beginning, I don't want to see any person attacked or so killed. So it was not justified. No, but is it, can you answer you, the specific no, no, question? It, clear. it was I'm not, not justified or was it justified? No, people, uh, uh, I think it's a really uh, easy question to answer, it is not, sir. It is not, because that it's is not. every... That is what, what, what every TV presenter, with respect, thinks that's what I will put to a Palestinian person. You never ask an Israeli ambassador, for example, you never ask them to condemn what Israel has done. I in had the Israeli today. ambassador on my show yesterday and I ask asked her to, to justify the siege of Gaza because of the plight that, that, that would, it, it would impose on, in, on, on in innocent civilians in Gaza. It? I did but exactly did you what you just said it? we don't do. You didn't ask him to condemn it, her. did you? It's a her. Did and I did. I sorry, didn't ask her to condemn it. I'm asking By if it's way, justified you know, you or not. You know, this Israeli ambassador was the minister of settlements. She is a person who says there will be no two-state solution. No, this is what we're dealing with. Now, if you keep diverting, uh, diverting it to things you want to get, uh, you know, a headline from, I'm not. I'm not play diverting that game. it. I think this is you the are. crucial question. Yes. I think no, this no, is the no, crucial no, question. No, if we are justifying the massacre of innocent men, women and children no, for this cause, pictures. I think we're going down a very immoral black hole. No, no, no. Look, these pictures you've just been showing of a girl being held in her father's arm, dead in, in Gaza. I'd like to hear people in the studio condemning it condemning the killing of children. I, and OK, I'm telling you right now, too. I am horrified that innocent men, uh, women and children condemn? will die. Will you condemn I will condemn the killing Gaza? of innocent civilians in Gaza or indeed anywhere. There will is a big difference, the... though, is there not, between, and I hate this phrase and it does feel inhuman, collateral damage. We know that when Israel bombs... The, right. the, no, let, oh, for goodness sake, sir, please it. let me finish a point. Hamas it. admitted, even in their statement, that they would execute... Innocent hostages, each a hostage for each attack that Israel carried out on the Gaza Strip, where there wasn't a warning. Even they and, admit that the Israeli government you, carries out the warnings reaction, before they attack can I, can civilian you, civilian targets. The, re, the reaction, the reaction. That's by, very I'm different from targeting a youth festival and gunning look, down 260 look, young civilians. On, on the issue, in the issue of, of the hostages and what was said last night, I can tell you that there's been real, real anger amongst Palestinians that that, part, that that was made, because we don't see any hostages harmed. 
So let's let's be clear. It's not this is a group that's made that announcement. It's not something that all Palestinians, if you like, uh, buy into. But you use the word collateral damage. That was quite telling. Okay. Quite that's telling. the phrase that is used because, by no, governments no, 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 when civilians die. Not. Do you know what, what the, the, the Israeli defense minister said? That they're going to go and destruct. They're not interested in accuracy, right? Which means that the people being uh, bombed today, and I've, I've, again, I've spoken to people in Gaza, and the situation is, is horrific. Uh, it, it, the, apart from anything else, people will die. But also, the, these, the damage you will see, and in, Israel will inflict the mo biggest amount of damage it can, there can be no rebuilding because Israel would have to approve the materials to yeah. go into for the rebuilding. Yeah. No, uh, so that, that, that's, that's a very that's, fair that's point. And if, about... uh, that's a very fair point. We're going to have to leave it there. I hope you'll come on the show again. I fear, alas, we will be talking about this topic many times. Professor Kamal well, unless Kawash. international law is implemented. Okay, thank against you. Against Russia so, and against Israel. Thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate you joining us.